This is the Lockwood Twin. It is a purple belt lock. Six top pins, three sidebar pins. Uh, it's a pretty tricky lock. Kind of uh, the stuff of nightmares, really, because it is absolutely so difficult to pick. Uh, its tolerances are excellent. If you try and drop one pin, you'll probably drop them all. If you have a set of pin. Uh, well, good luck trying to pin it back down. See that? That's an overset. Got my full set. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Mm. Done something wrong there. Three, two, one. It feels good. I need a little shiny leaves flat hook. There we go. And we'll test the sidebar again. Oopsie. Seven three, seven two, seven one. There we go, we've got a deep false set again. Um Let's use a half diamond. Just grab the pins, see what we're looking for. Well, we've got a super deep full set now. And that. Feels like pin five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's pin five. And again, as I said, if you try and set something and you're not careful, you'll probably drop everything else. So, we'll do this some dance again. That is the wrong flag. Okay, and we'll go back in the diamond, see what we need. Two, three, four, five, still the one that's giving counter rotation, it doesn't feel like it. Let's see, one, two, three, four, not five, is it six? Six is the one way at the back. Super low cut. Yes, it is six. Did 
as I said, if you set something and you're not careful about it, you can lose everything again. But it doesn't seem like I've done that this time, which is excellent. And it feels like set a three. Here we are, two and one, and we've gotten back into the deep full set. Let's go back with the half diamond. It is pin five again, I think. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, indeed. we go back to full set and let's check these side pins again so really the hardest part of the twin I would say is actually the top stack let's see where's my half diamond is now pin two. Well, that's set. Checking the side pin stack again. Three, two, one. All set. Go back in. Let's see. One, two. Three, four, five, six again. Let's use a super low cut hook like this. Pointed two from Moki. Get underneath that. Put that back in. We've dropped literally everything in the process. Which ain't great, but can you do? Six set, five set, four set, there we go. And three, two. Once again, full set. One, two, three. Is that four that I just punked? No, we're back to five. Are we? I'm not so certain. One, two, three, four. Oh no, it is five. There's definitely five. Let's get under it with a short hook. See six? Yep, okay, it is entirely five. dropped more than I had wished. Oh, 
Okay. And now let's check the side pins once again. Deep full set. Which pin it is? I bet you can't. Through its pin five. Try and use super fed light tension. the same thing. This was in pin five. No side pin issues. I feel like I felt a bit of feedback there. Yeah. What was that? Strange. That's a while. What we got there in the end. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. <laughs> let's be careful now. 
let's move this stuff here. Let's keep this all in frame. So this was inside of, if you couldn't tell already, uh, what was a cutaway body. This is not a cutaway. Uh, though, maybe I will make it into one. The original cutaway was this. Uh, I down under monkey. So, got the spinning tray. Got a screwdriver. God, that did take a while, didn't it? So, 15 minutes. Here, here. Um, Some good thing about Lockwoods is that they have a not quite crimped on gut cap. But they still turned, yes, it still turned excellent. So we'll keep this in shot, I suppose. That was spring three. We'll dump out all the springs, not spools, all the pins rather, uh, they're not all spools. We'll see that soon enough. Dump out all the springs. These are all small copper ones, they are not the same as the ones in the 334B, which is important to note. Now the pins. Pin one is a standard. Pin two is a spool. Pin three is a standard. Pin four. doesn't want to come out, we'll get it out later. Pin 6 is a spool. Pin 5 is a very annoying spool. Yeah. Pin 4 does not seem to want to come out. Definitely see that there is a fourth pin in there. I'm not too certain why it's not coming out, but we'll solve that mystery after. Um, we're going to change this screwdriver bit out. Once again, for a set. And we'll unscrew this back part. It's worth noting that I do not have a follower for this. Because I have just moved and my stuff is kind of still in boxes, so, so that's the tailpiece. We can slide this out and I'll show you all the sidebar as this comes out. That's two of the side pins that just exploded out. Excellent. Side pin potentially two and three. Well, we'll, we'll sort that out. And now this is the last one, which also just shot out. Well, this is not exactly the cleanest I can get, but whatever. You'll notice that much like the Twin 6K style, uh, I'll, I'll zoom in later. 
I'll zoom in later. Put the sidebar out here, which has two little springs. So I'm going to get my tweezers and these sidebar springs, which have flown everywhere. And we'll look at the actual keepins. Uh, one is mastered, and this is the only mastered stack in this look, but it is mastered. Two is standard, three is standard. Four is standard, five is standard, and six is standard. Six also appears to be mastered, actually. Didn't know that. That's my bad. Uh, I didn't know. Let's see if we can push this pin all the way down. So four is a standard as well. Uh, the chambers have... Let's see. Let's see if we can get some light in here. Not available. Um, well, we're going to do some zooming. There we go. And... See here, there is one, two, three, four, five, six chambers not threaded on the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six chambers not threaded on the right. Which is uh, about as expected. Uh, oh, well, that just went off camera. I suppose that doesn't really matter. Um, this is the sidebar groove. Again, three slider slots. Again, the keyway is rather reminiscent of an asset twin. But, you know, very awkward. Um, the kick is just like a 334B, except it has a sidebar groove here, which obviously allows the sidebar to go in. Um, the sidebar itself is um, has three tracks for the three sliders. Let's get some light in here. You'll see focuses. Okay. You'll see that the sidebar is not coded. Uh, and that is because these sliders which have um, false gates uh, I think this is a slider in the middle. These sliders have false gates. Some are at the top, some are not. As a matter of fact, I might just be wrong. It's sprung downwards. Ah, it's sprung downwards. So this is going to be, you need to lift Plus one, two false gates to get to the true gate. The same can be said, ah, oh, the same cannot be said of this one. This one has true gate, false gate, false gate. And this third one is false gate, true gate, false gate. We'll bring this up close to the camera. This is the pinning. Uh, 
This was much longer than I expected. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for watching. Have a lovely rest of your day.